So my note-taking situation is a mess, and it has been for a very long time. And most of that is simply because I move between applications too often, but also because I take notes in different places. Like, I like to take notes on my phone. I like to take notes on my computer. Every once in a while, or at least when I had an iPad, I took notes on an iPad, you know? So my note-taking situation just has always been a bit of a mess. And I'm always trying to find the solution, you know, the the one size fits all solution that's going to make my note taking situation, you know, not a mess, but I've never actually been successful. And unfortunately the application we're going to talk about today is also not the proper solution, but I want to talk about it anyways. So today we're going to be talking about simple note. Now, simple note is an application from automatic. You might know automatic from the folks who make WordPress and they own Tumblr and you know, they're kind of in the open source space, but also, Kind of not, you know, they're a very weird organization. They like open source, but they also have a lot of proprietary stuff. And Simple Note kind of is emblematic of that because it is open source, kind of, right? The clients are open source, but the server end is proprietary. So it's a bit of a mess, just like the rest of Automatic's, you know, software is. So Simple Note itself looks like this. So I'm going to show you what Simple Note looks like. And out of the box, you can tell, first of all, it is an Electron application. So you can tell that right off the bat. It doesn't follow GTK or QT theming at all. It does have a, th a dark theme. So if you were to open up the settings, which is done with control and comma, you can go to display and then scroll down and change it to the dark theme. But it doesn't, I mean, that looks like garbage, to be honest with you. It has the white bar up there at the top that doesn't seem to be able to go away. Uh, now I don't I I don't think actually look at that you can actually close that but I don't it doesn't seem to actually work I'm not sure the, the, so it does have a dark theme preferably I would like to have dark theme be the the you know default but whatever uh, beyond the look and feel of it and it being an electron application the actual functionality of Simple Note is not horrible the I do have many qualms with it which is why I'm not switching to it but it does the most important part of a cross-platform note-taking solution it syncs and it syncs for free so if you have a mobile phone it has applications for ios and android you can download it on your mobile device you can download it on your linux or windows or mac and you can sign up for an account or use your wordpress account because you probably have one and then you can start making notes and they'll sync between devices you don't have to pay for anything like that and it does a very good job, right? At a basic note-taking level, it does a good job of syncing those device, you know, notes between devices, and it just works. It's when you start wanting to have more than that where Simple Note kind of falls down. Now, it does have tagging. So down here along the bottom, you can see you can add tags. So this is a tag, you know. It, it works very well, and you can search by tag. So if I wanted to search for to-dos, you know, I can, you can ha I can search for each of these tags or whatever. So that's good. But it doesn't have projects or anything like that. So if you wanted to have a you know a, a grouping of tags, you could you can't really do that. As far as I can tell, it doesn't have notebooks or anything like that. So if you wanted to have you know all of your tags for all of your notes for work inside of its own you know notebook, you can't do that. Um, as far, as far as I can tell, like I, I, I've been using this for a couple days. I have not spotted a single place where you can create a notebook. So if it is here, it is very well hidden. So that is a big feature that is available in a lot of other note taking applications like Evernote and, uh, notes nook is, has notebooks and you can use obsidian. If you're going to use that, that has notebooks and stuff like that. So, uh, th that is a big feature that is not here now. I get it. They're trying to make this as simple as possible, but it's still, it's a little bit too simple, right? So that's one feature that I would really like to see them have, but that they don't. Another one is that by default, Markdown is not enabled, which just, so by default, you uh, if you go up here to the three dots here, you'll see this little check mark, mark next to Markdown. That is actually off. So if you then try to do a heading, you know, and then whatever there's no preview up here because that's not actually markdown it's just a hashtag in front of a word uh, you have to turn on markdown if you want to use it now that's not a that, you know that huge of a deal but it confuses me like I, I just want that to be that should just be default I, I mean to me personally if your note if you're going to take notes you're going to take them in markdown or at least it doesn't hurt anything to have that enabled by default I don't think 
So it really should be, you know, default. Also, it doesn't automatically change into Markdown once you move to another line. Like it just stays into the raw Markdown form. If you want to see what it looks like, you have to hit the preview button and then it looks like this up here. You know, it's fine, but it adds an extra step, which I don't really care for all that much. I want it to change automatically and just not even bother with a preview mode. Another thing is the formatting itself. So a lot of applications that support Markdown and use Markdown have a lot of the Markdown formatting tools in their format menu. And I expected Simple Note to have that as well, but they don't. The only format option they have is Insert Checklist, which you can do, by the way, with a Markdown like this, you know. Actually, I think it's like, uh, I can't remember. It's dash and then space and then bracket and then bracket, just like that. Okay, then it would change into a checklist. Now, it does have the ability to link between notes if you wanted to do that. So you could, as you can see here, use their auto fill thing that sometimes pops up, sometimes doesn't pop up to link between notes that exist. And that is a good feature to have. But again, it has been very hit or miss when it comes up. So some, I'm not actually sure. Like, I think maybe you do... It, whenever you do the brackets, it shows you videos or it shows you notes that you might want to link to. But that can also be annoying if you're just wanting to do a, li a link. This is a link, you know, like this. And, you know, HTTPS, you know, the, the linuxcast.org, you know, that's technically a link. And if you, you know, previewed it, then it would show you the, the link. But, but the fact that those two things have the same functionality, you know, this brings up, you know, the autofill for linking to between notes and then it is also for links and it uh, i don't know even know if like if the, if you don't have markdowns if you don't have markdown enabled does that show up it does so that's really weird because the whole linking functionality that you're seeing here the you know brackets and then parentheses is actually markdown but i don't have markdown enabled now but it still shows up so it's it's really weird and not at all consistent and I just wish Markdown was more of a first-class citizen when it comes to this application, but it's not that big of a deal. The notebook thing, the the lack of a notebook uh, functionality is mo a much bigger deal than the Markdown being, you know, not front and center. Now, in terms of settings, it has some. I, it is really what I'm is the best thing that I can say. You know, it has you know a, a few different note display options, so comfy, condensed, and then expanded, so you can actually see the whole note if you wanted to, or a good portion of the note. Uh, you can change the line length so that it's you know it looks different that way. You can change how your notes are sorted, and you can change how the tags are sorted. It has a light and dark theme, and it has the menu bar hard automatically. Which actually, I wonder if you actually it's not automatic you just have to press the alt key nope still doesn't work uh, maybe you have to close it we'll open it back up yeah okay so if you want the ugly white bar to go away you have to close it and open it back up and then you press alt and then the, that's much better that makes it look much better so good okay so honestly that's all there is to this application you, you if you want to create a note you hit this button up here and then uh this is a note and then here's something really weird it, it I, I automatically assumed that the best way to go to the next line would be to click. But if you click down here, like anywhere, it doesn't do anything. You actually have to enter, which is, you know, uh, not intuitive for me, at least. I thought it was going to be a click down here into the next section, but you have to enter. Uh, this is technically the title, right, of the note. But you can't click down into the body of the note. You have to enter in order to go. And so it's not intuitive for me at all. So that's, that was really weird. Uh, another thing is, like I said, the markdown not being default, so you have to I have to click that back on. Uh, now it does have a public note functionality, so if you wanted to publish this to a uh, uh, like a, a a link so that you could share it, you could do that. And supposedly there is some collaboration here. I'm not sure how that works. I haven't tried that out. So if you wanted to collaborate, you could technically do that. Add people via email, and then you could collaborate on notes. So that's really cool. The fact that they have that, though, and not notebooks is really confusing to me, right? Conf notebooks seems like a, you know, an actual front feature that people would want in a note-taking application before they would want collaboration. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe people think collaboration is more important than notebooks in a note-taking application. 
Uh, either way, they have collaboration. They don't have notebooks as far as, again, I can tell. So honestly, that is all there is in terms of things about Simple Note. Uh, I did try out the mobile application as well, and it is similarly lacking in features. Uh, but it's well designed, I will say that. It has all the things that you'd expect. You can There's a preview mode. There is an option to see history and trash and collaborators and all that stuff. You can add tags in the, in the mobile application. Uh, and it works fine. I... I it's very simple. Let's just put it that way. It, it's it's not something that you would say is full featured, and that's honestly the most disappointing part. Is it just it feels like there's so many features here that are just not there. Add on top of that, the desktop client being Electron, just ugh, you know what I mean. It's not it's not my cup of tea. Now I do use Electron applications all the time, but. The Electron apps that I use put some effort into it, right, to make it not look like an Electron app. But if you, the first thing you notice when you open up Simple Note is that it's an Electron app. It looks exactly like an Electron app is supposed to look. It looks like they t they took it and just took the default template of an Electron app and then put their stuff into it. You know, what I mean, it just that's the way it looks, and that's a little bit disappointing to me. So the look and feel not that great, uber simple, lacking features, could be better. And again. Here's me looking for another note-taking solution that disappoints me. So that is it for me. If you guys like or have comments on Simple Note, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, just to pause here, I'm messing around with the, ca the camera, trying to make it look a little bit, you know, better. So I zoomed in a little bit. I'm not sure if I did a good job. It makes me look like I'm not looking at the camera. It, it, it looks like I'm looking off to the side. I... I don't know. It's going to it's gonna take some tweaking, so I'm, I'll, I'll get there. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash linuxcast. You can support me uh, there or on YouTube or uh, Libre, Libera Pay. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me or you can follow me on Odyssey and on uh, uh, Mastodon. Well, I totally f that whole ending up. But anyways, who cares? Uh, all those links in the video description, you can check them out. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the challenge should not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I, like I said, just totally send all my appreciation to you guys. So thank you for your support. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.